Welcome to the machine learning at home. Uh, today I will speak about how to split clusters in central and peripheral points. So actually nature around us is constructed such a way that you can always see some frequent close to the center, typical cases, points, even people, and some kind of peripheral, unusual, far from the central ones. So if you have clusters, how to split clusters into central and peripheral points. This is a process called cluster trimming. And there is a library in R, and also I will show you one additional approach. So let us start from that library. Library trim cluster. And I will experiment with my Iris data as usual. So first of all, we need to run trim key means command and we'll use iris data without character number five which is species names we also need to specify number of clusters which will be three because we know that three species and object will name iris for example iris t key interestingly it takes some time so the process is relatively long and now, well, the best way is to plot it, and we can see what's going on. So how to plot clusters? We need to visualize our data first. For example, with the principal component analysis. So we'll create object called irisp, and that will be result of PR comp. And then we'll take the same iris data without character number five, which is species name, and take component named X from it. And now we can plot. So plot iris dot p, and then we need to colorize everything by species. Iris equal species, and then we'll make some kind of trick. So I want the points to represent which are central and which are peripheral. Empty round points will be peripheral, filled ones will be central. So how to make it? So PCH will be equal to if else, and that if else will choose between filled and not filled points in such a way that non-filled one will represent these outliers which were trimmed by trim commins. So trim commins object is iris C key. And it contains classification, and we'll need classification part number four. There are three clusters, and cluster number four is not actual cluster. There are outliers which were trimmed out. So we take these four points and we'll not fill them. So it will be number one. Each point type has a number in R, and fill points has number 19 and looks like everything is done we can now look on them yes so as you see here field points are central values and empty ones are peripheral so you can easily understand which points are going outside of all of them so this is one of approach of course you can calculate which exactly points are peripheral and then do something with them or simply take them out so this is a very fruitful approach interestingly i myself developed something similar much simpler so it's not so universal as a trim cluster but sometimes work quite well and i will need to show it to you so i will need my own library library shipanov and then I will make similar things. So I will plot stuff. So I will probably need new window. So this is one of commands which calls new window. Doesn't work on Mac, but on Windows and Linux works quite well. And you can open new window in Mac if you like in a different way. So now I will plot in that empty graphical window the same Iris P objects. So plot iris p and we'll colorize as the iris species actually i don't even need it so like a type equal to n so this will be empty plot 
as you see, plot is really empty without anything within, but already with axis named and also labeled, which I exactly what I want. So now within that empty plot, we'll plot some points. But first of all, we'll calculate them. So our points will be called PPTS. And I will use my command HULS with uppercase H. So that command will take Iris P, principal component analysis, and will take species name now, because it's a very important part of the data, which species is which. It's exactly what we colorize our data before. And now I will say outliers outliers equal to false. So I don't want outliers. This is a way of trimming clusters in this holes command. And I don't want to plot yet. I will plot next command. And also I will specify how to calculate outliers. There is a COF coefficient parameter and I will put it like 0.9. This was taken from a box plot, so same coefficient which is used in a box plot to determine outliers. So very similar approach, actually the same approach. And this should be it. So now I, di I didn't plot yet anything, but now I will. So I will plot using command points. So points will plot within that empty one. So iris P again and now I will colorize it iris pieces and now I will use pch equal to if else slightly more complicated approach because well if point is outlier it is writing in so called attribute so I will need to reveal it from attributes if else 1 to 150, so rather 150 points in Iris data. And then I will check which of them are outliers. So in RTTR attributes, PPTS are our points equal to outlier. A bit complicated, but I think you understand it. Uh, outliers. Okay. Uh, outliers. It's a long one. It's not yet finished. So in case if the point is outlier, it will be empty dot. If it's not, it will be filled dot. So same as it was before. And looks like I made it correct. Hope so. Let me see. Yes. So now you can look this windows side by side. And you will see that the result is not exactly the same. Some points are labeled the same way, for example, this one and that one. Some points not. So approach is, well, which is an trim cluster, I believe it's better. But my approach is also good because it uses a typical box plot way to calculate outliers. And works quite well, kind of draft approach, which might be also used to understand which points are peripheral and which are not. And also you can regulate it with COEF, so which is interesting because while well, trimmed cluster left plot is not regulated anyway, but my one is possible to regulate. So anyway, these are ways to understand which points are peripheral and which are center. On these two plots you can see two different approaches to calculate peripheral and central points. So this is it for today. Thank you very much.